Oh, look, we have guests. Glad you've come. Welcome to Shea Linus. Come into our little tropical bungalow. It has all our sort of favorite Benjamin Linus touches. Lots of uh, antique objects, lots of uh, biological specimens, and books and books and books. Zillions of books. People love maps, don't they? Because this may have something to do with the show, but a mask is a face that hides a true face. It can be uh, a piece of disguise or deception. These are themes that come up occasionally in our program. I kind of like the drapes they have in here. A person could pretend to be a Maasai warrior or something like that. Very nice. This is our kitchen over here. And you're, you're probably thinking, we've seen these little bungalows from the outside, and each room in this bungalow is as big or bigger than the bungalow on the outside. It's a piece of island magic, I think, that once you get inside, everything expands. How about this stuff? Oh, uh, period prints, things about balloons. Balloons, it's a sort of theme in our program. I'm fascinated with balloons. Do you like to fly? <laughs> yeah, some people like to fly in balloons. <laughs> During my rear window period on the show, this will be where I'll be spending a lot of time. That and in my wheelchair. Where's the wheelchair? I can't get anywhere without it. Here's an interesting astrological chart, which bears a resemblance to a certain other chart that we've seen on the program. Trophies. Yeah, they're uh, jujitsu trophies. One can only imagine how they came into my possession. I suppose it's possible that I earned them myself, but where, at what sort of jujitsu meet would I have received a trophy on this island? where I've lived my whole life. Okay. What do we have? You probably noticed this painting on the wall. It's a kind of a unique painting. If you look closely, you see the woman is cradling a little gerbil or some kind of a little furry mammal in her hands and she's in a tropical setting. Why does Benjamin have this painting? And who's the woman in the painting? I wonder if we'll find out. And here we are, of course, at the seat of power, Ben's private desk. He's a man with considerable responsibilities, but also considerable power. It's a lot of fun going on also on the island if people could just get in the right frame of mind. 